Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I must apologise for my absence. Um, I've had a really bad flare up. Couldn't use my right hand at all, which I'm right handed. Um, one knee as well, I could hardly walk. Um, so it's not been a very good time, but I'm back. So that's brilliant. As promised, today we are going to be doing some water painting, watercolours. Um, using the Magical Fairies book and the Jane Davenport paints and my favourite cell water brush that Susie bought me. I also have here, let me just put my sheet back there, I also have here the paints that were um, a gift from the grave from my mum. Um, we have these paints here as well. So between the two of them, we'll see what fun we can have here. Righty ho, let's get this sorted out. Right, I have a paint palette as well in case I need it. You might not be able to see that. Um, sorry about me doodling. Um, I've been doodling mandalas. Right, let's find the paint picture. Right, there we go. I did happen to find this really cute, I don't know if you can see this, really cute um, clipboard. Um, it's only a cheap one, but I thought it's got signs of Paris and things on. Really, really cute. And I also bought these um, tiny, tiny, um, smaller than I thought they would be, um, clasps. But they've all got different things on them. They're really, really cute. Right, let's get this clipped into here. Hang on. Let me get my thing behind it first. Might help, might let my thingy behind it first there we go and I'm just going to clip down if I can reach if it'll reach which I don't know if it will some bits there and again in the middle let's clip this down oops so they don't fly everywhere that should do it I think Right, we've got our paint sets here, so which I'll put up there, which you might be able to see, I'm not sure. Oh, that changed. Where are we going with this? That should be fine. But it's gone all the way now. Really not on the light, it goes a different shade, never mind. Hang on, we'll sort this out. Yeah, it's all in there in a minute. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll try and bring you in a little bit. Sorry I'm messing about here, aren't I? Um let's see. I'm hoping that that's clear enough for you to see. I don't want that falling over. Right, ho. Let's see what we can do. Right, I also got, which I bought, which is some Windsor and Newton watercolour mediums, iridescent medium, which um, I don't know if you can see that. Hi, Lily. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi. You come to say hi. Um, which I couldn't really afford the iridescent paints and I saw this and I thought wow this works brilliant if it doesn't oh well I tried um let me just put that. it's changing it it's not good we don't like it changing there we go let me move my light over so that doesn't keep touching it. Might be an idea, might not. Then we can put them there. Okay, so I usually, when I start a picture, I usually start off with skin. So um, I'm going to start off with the skin with my water brush. Um, now let's have a look here. What colour are we going to use? 
Um, a colour called Buff. Let's try that, I think, maybe. Right, I've got my water brush. And I am not a painter. I will tell you now, I am not a painter. So, we will see what we can do. No, Lily, you can't eat paints. No. Let's see here. Right, we've got her arm here. So we'll try that. That looks quite good. It doesn't look too bad. I am not a painter though. Um, I've done very, very little watercolours. I have done some ink tents. Um, if that counts as watercolour, I don't know. Um, I do love the ink tents, but actually putting the colour down from a brush rather than, um, you know, just doing the pencil um, is sort of completely different, to be honest. Um, let's have a look here. Now, I'm hoping I've got a different... I don't want to mess this brush up on this... Um, Lily, no, go on. I don't want to mess this brush up on this lovely water brush that Susie bought me. Um, so I have another brush which I'm going to try the iridescent um, thing. I haven't tried that yet. I thought I would buy that especially to keep for this. Um, um, we will see how we go. Um, I'm hoping to try and use it on her wings, maybe. Um, so we'll see how we go with that just um i don't know about watercolor but this is quite a light layer so i'm thinking maybe um doing some layers see how this goes see how it dries um and maybe do some layers um right is that all her skin i think so oh Nope, look, she's got a thumb there. Hope you can all see what I'm doing. I'm sure you can. If not, um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm hoping that this is the right... Um, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I mean, but you do. Oh, I need kitchen towel. I forgot I need kitchen towel. Come out of the way, honey. Oh, where is the kitchen towel? All gone, I think. Oh dear, okay. Let's just get a cloth then. Oh, we'll grab a cloth, that'll do. Right, let's just get this colour off here and see how we go. Right, what shall we do next? Um, maybe these big flowers, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, what have we got in the colour from the other set? Let's have a look. Um, 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 um. Or maybe we'll do the palette. Yeah, we'll do the palette because this is a nice sort of browny colour here. In the set that Susie got. Um, I probably will use... Ooh, that's very brown. I we'll need to water that down a bit. Um, I probably will use um, the this for whatever I can, and because this is a very this is the neutral palette from Jane Davenport, um, so obviously it's got mainly sort of skin colours, um, which is brilliant because there are, I don't know of any um, paint set that has sort of skin colours so it's really really good and I'm shaking like mad I don't know why um, but as you can see I've already gone over the lines but we'll cover that up not to worry we we'll cover it up so there we go this isn't very good I told you I wasn't I'm not a watercolour I'm not a, not a paintist I did tell you that <laughs> so so it's been pretty crappy really um, not a lot to tell even though I've been away for a, I don't know a week I don't know how long it's been I've been mostly just 
watching things, um, watching things, sleeping, um, yeah, so I find sleep is, when I'm in a lot of pain, sleep is the best thing for me, um, it seems, you know, to be one of the better things I can do because obviously when you're asleep you don't know about the pain the pain does wake me up every now and again but um, you know you don't really realize that you're in pain when you're in sleep so I tend to sleep a lot so that's what I've been doing um, that's why I've not been around on any streams or anything it's just too painful to type or anything else um, so I've got a lot of catching up to do. I haven't even been watching anybody's streams or anything. Um, I've just been in front of the telly catching up on some crime programmes that I watch. Um, and yeah, so I've not really been doing much at all. Um, husband's foot is sort of healing but not because he's not been wearing his boots. He's a naughty boy. Um, so yeah, we're backwards and forwards, um, to the, um, hospital, um, so yeah, it's not been very good really. Let's have a go at this one, let's see what this one's like, that's quite light, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that for the brush. So yeah, there's sort of not been too much going on really. Um, been to see my dad, he's not very well either. Um, he's got a bad back, um, which he has to take um, painkillers and that for. Um, but yeah, he's not been too good, so that's never going to clear up, probably. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a crappy time, really. But, I mean, he's nearly 80, so, you know, I mean, what can you expect, really? Um, right, we'll go over to this side, I think, and try some of these paints here. I'm going to put some in this little palette I've got, and see how we go. Draw it down a little bit, let's see how we go, because I want to sort of do this in layers. Um, you know, so it doesn't, um, so you can, so you can at least see some shading and that on it is what I would like. Um, I know I've gone over there, I told you I'm not a paintist. Um, <laughs> I'm not very good with the brush, but I'm learning, I'm learning. This is the whole point of doing this. So you can laugh at me while I learn. Um yeah I thought that would be a good thing now I paint in any books um, paper doesn't bother me and um, it doesn't have to be watercolor paper but I use um, I use any books I have painted in um, Christine Cameron books before um, her fairies book um, I have done um, ink tents in them um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm i not bothered about what I paint in, um, paper doesn't bother me, yeah, it will, you know, crinkle up, but I'm not bothered, um, and this is not coming out too bad, this is quite a nice green, actually, I'm quite liking this, so that's going to be for all the bits going down, I've got my thingy over that one. My little thing. What are you doing, dog? Does anyone think we starved her? So there's the um, you know, street dog. Um, more thoughts that she's got. You know that you've just got to scavenge for food and any little crumb you can find. You know, is good sort of thing. Um, she's probably eating cheese or something. Is that? Um has a habit of dropping cheese. Zach has cheese on everything. 
the amount of cheese we go through because it's that um, is ridiculous to be honest um, but I mean he, he, he does he eats cheese on absolutely everything um, so she and, and he's not very good at um, doing stuff for himself um, he can do it he'll cook you know pizzas and ready meals and you know he can't cook as such um but he he's got this thing at the minute that he wants to be healthy um so he's thinking that putting you know mushrooms and stuff on absolutely everything and tons of cheese i mean we bought him a packet of um grated cheese and the next day he'd only had like one meal from it and the next day Tim said look my god look at this and there was like three quarters of the packet gone it was nearly empty and it was ridiculous and it's like we'd only just bought it the day before so you know we've had to sort of put a not a stop on it but we buy him two packets a week now and we said right that's got to last you a week which any normal person it probably would last them a week um or more even um and we've said this has got to last you a week you know if you've run out then too bad basically um so yeah so that's Zach and he's just gone off to the shop um, we always have um, there's a although we're a qu quite a small village we do have a fish and chip shop but it is only open Thursday Friday and Saturday um, so usually on a Thursday we'll usually get fish and chips on a Thursday um, which Zach enjoys but he's now all of a sudden decided for some reason that he doesn't he wants the chips but he doesn't want the fish um which is quite unusual because he does like fish um here comes hubby hello my wife's got a hairy bum hey behave that's a bit rude um so yeah so he's now decided all of a sudden that he doesn't want the fish he'll go to the shop and buy a pizza so he'll cook the pizza and then he'll just have the chips um, so yeah, not very good really. But, and he's he's got this thing into his head that you know pizza's healthy for him, and I'm telling him no, Dad, pizza's not healthy. Oh well, if I put lots of mushrooms and things on it, then it will be. So and he's he's sort of like once he gets something into his head. That's it, you won't change him. So wonder who he gets that off of. I wonder. And um so yeah, so he's not you know he's very stubborn and Again. doesn't listen. Again. So and husband's been very <laughs> rude there. Saying it's all my fault, he gets it from me. Um don't know about that I'm not really stubborn and I do listen to other people I'm not all sort of <laughs> he's looking at me now as if to say what I'm looking at you wondering how the hell am I gonna get to the oven you can't get to the oven not at the minute you can't no none for me then no you have to wait why is it when I come into the kitchen everybody wants to come into the kitchen as well and want something from the kitchen. But I'll starve to death. Starve to death? Oh dear. I don't think so. So it always happens every time I come in here. And this is the only place at the minute I can film. I'll be so happy when I get that room cleared upstairs and then I can film up there so my heart's content. So will I. And not have to worry about people coming into the kitchen. Well, I'm gonna get to the oven then. Uh, well, the only reason I came in here now is because I was waiting for Zach to get out of the kitchen. And Zach got out of the kitchen, so I came in here and now husband wants to get in the kitchen. 
I can't win. So everybody wants to come in the kitchen when I want to be here. So, always the way. Always the way. Oh, I'm going all over the edges, these little bits I'm not very good at. I'm trying, I'm trying. I really am trying. But I'm not very good at keeping into the edges with a brush. Not very good at all. But it's okay. It's looking good, I think. It's looking not too bad. So, and Dylan's whinging, if you can hear him. Lily's crunching biscuits and Dylan's just whinging. That's what Dylan does. So... I'm loving painting. Not very good at it, but I like it. I like it, I like it. And these skin colours were really good and they were good for these brushes as well. And it's got a lovely red and a blue, which I will probably try and do in here. Actually, what can I do on the bl flowers blue? Um, blue and maybe pink or something. Um, I'm just trying to find all the green while I've got the green done. Just thought I'd try and do the green. Mind you, this might be getting a bit boring for you watching me do green. So, maybe if I can get the lips a bit done and then I'll move on to something else. Because I'm sure you don't want to see me do all this green. Because it'll be getting a bit boring for you. And I've still got to go over with another coat and to put some shading bits in. don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out somehow. I'm not sure. Mix some colours up or something and do something a bit darker. Right, I'm not going to do all of them because these are just plain green, so I'm probably not going to do all of these right now. Um, and I always miss bits, always do. Um, I don't know. Right, let's just get rid of that and let's try what should we have. Mm. Let's have some pink. I'll do a, I'm gonna no actually I'm gonna take what I've got is this iridescent stuff and I've got another brush here. Um and I haven't got a pot of water. Let me get a, a pot of water. Um and then we can try the iridescent stuff. Let's have a try of that on a wing. There we go. I forgot that, didn't I? Hey, terrible. Always forget something. Hi, Dylan. Do you want to come in the picture? No, he says get lost. Right, let's wet my brush. Let's get some of this paint into this tray here. Get some more water. It's a sort of Pinky purpley sort of colour. Right, and then I'm going to get one of these little pipette things. And I'm going to put a really tiny amount of this iridescent. That's if I can open the bottle, that is. bottles where it's like a safety thing like for children you know like medicines and that it's one of them sort of bottles all right let's put a couple of drops in there probably don't need all that to be honest i'll put the rest back in there what bottle all right let's mix that around with the pink Ooh, pretty. Ooh, I 
I like. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. That's quite good. I quite like that. It's quite thick, so I might just add a bit more water to it because it's quite thick. But it looks sparkly. I'm hoping it's going to look sparkly when it goes down. Right, I'm going to paint all of her wings. Just pink. And then I can go over with shading and things. Oh, gone over again. Look. Useless. And again. Oh my goodness. This is just with a normal brush. And I'm just not very good. With it at all, really. I don't know if you can see that sparkling. I can. I can see it's sparkly. So, we'll go there. And this one as well, we'll do exactly the same with this one, but try not to go over this time. I can see that sparkling. I'm hoping when it dries, it dries nice and sparkly. Because it looks sort of quite good at the minute. A bit more. Uh, you probably can't see this sparkling, but it, it is sparkling. It looks very much like um, Wink of Stella. Looks very much like that sort of thing. Um, which is sort of what I wanted, really. So we'll just put a thin layer on and let that dry. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it is definitely sparkling. Definitely. Right, well we've got that green out. I'm just going to do the green on her um, hair because there is some tiny little bits of green on her hair there. Because I was just thinking of what colour... I was going to do her hair and then I noticed there was lots of little leaves on it so there was some flowers as well so we'll see we see how it goes I will be doing another video of this because obviously the time we've got is not long enough so I'll do the usual timing what I do um, on on my videos, sort of 40 minutes or whatever, um, and then I'll stop and then I'll have to start again and make another video. So this isn't really a um, colour along, it's a colour and chat basically. Um, so, but yeah. Um, it'd be good to, um, for you lot to just to see, you know, how, how I'm getting on with it. Um, and I don't really want to sit here for 40 minutes, you know, it's not long enough. Um, I'll probably have a little break in between just to get, let husband get something to eat because he wants to get to the oven. Um. And then I'll come back, but at the minute we're at 28 minutes, so we're doing okay at the minute. We're doing okay. Right, what shall we do next? Um, we'll do some of these big flowers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint it all, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to do, you know, the shading bits on it. Um, so that's the idea anyway, whether it'll actually come out like that <laughs> is another matter so we'll see right big flowers what colors are we going to do seems that her wings are pink um what color will we do there i was thinking of pink and purple but we haven't i haven't got a purple um i suppose i could make purple um i don't know or do we just go with what we've got? Could do a pale blue, and I've got a pale blue in that one. 
and I've got a red in that one um, so we could do pale blue and red maybe we'll give that a go let's have a go at that let's see what we've got here we've got some blue pale blue right, let's do a um we'll do this one blue we'll do it like that i've done the other stuff we'll do it just lightly um and then we'll go in and hopefully add some shadows um that's the plan anyway um but now i'm better not only am i going to enjoy doing the painting um i can actually color again i haven't picked up a pencil for oh maybe a week or more and um do you know what it's like you know when you get the urge for something like whether it be the urge to eat something or i've just got the urge to color and it was really really annoying me because i've got the urge to color but i just couldn't um, I did pick up a pencil and try, but it was just too painful. I just couldn't hold it. So um, that's how my flare-ups go. I'm afraid they 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 don't always pick my right hand or whatever. They'll they'll they will change. Um, they will change about. It can be my shoulders, my knees my wrists my hands my elbows um, my hips you name it it can it can be you know wherever it wants to be at the time and it does change around um, my hands do hurt me all the time on my wrists should I say mainly which is why I wear the splints um, but um, they're not you know always like that bad you know um which like today the pain has gone um from my hands anyway um it's still in my wrist i'm in pain all the time but i mean the pain has gone from my hands and i actually can hold a brush and it's like whoa the pain has gone you know i mean you can't do anything if you're right-handed and you've got such bad pain in your right hand that you just cannot move it's you know it's it's awful it was just down it was across the top of my hand and it was down this side and across the top of my hand and oh, it was really down my head in it was it's really depressing because you can't do anything that you want to do um and yeah, it just it just get, gets you down it really does and I've been dying to paint and do all sorts of things um, alright what shall we do blue now I'll do this one blue as well I think I'll do this one blue as well but yeah so that's what I've been doing guys I haven't you know been ignoring you purposely or anything like that it's just that I've been so bad um, and then I'm just all Zach out when he has his moods and that when I'm in a lot of pain and having to sort him out as well it's like I love him to bits but it's, I just can't be doing with it you know and I'm in pain and it's like I just have to go to bed and go to sleep and just shut the door on the world Lily stop it she's got a thing about she has to scrap the side of her litter tray every time she goes to the toilet Lily and she makes an awful racket doing it um, but yeah so all the animals have been fine um the usual selves. Um, right, that's good.
glue ones. What shall we do now? Shall we do red maybe? Shall we try some red? Let's try some red out of this one. So I've got two different sets. I've got the Doug Jane Davenport set that Susie bought me and I've also got um, the um, Windsor Newton set that was my mum's before she passed away. Um, she'd been doing some drawing and she was intending on painting what she had drawn but she died before she you know got to do that so my dad found them and and gave them to me which was wonderful i mean obviously i'm using them but i don't want to this is the first time i've actually used them but i don't want to i have well i've swatched them out and that's all i've done with them um so I have this is the very first time I've actually used them. Um, I will use them because they are expensive paints and it's just a shame to waste them. But on the other hand, I don't want to use them too much and use them all up basically, um, and then they're gone. So because that will you know really upset me. So yeah. So this is the. I'm trying not to use them so I'm hoping to get some other paints um, so I don't have to use you know the set that I got from her um, the set I got from Susie is lovely and it's neutral tones so it's brilliant for I mean this red is out of there um, it's also brilliant for, as you can see, skin tones. So, and and I'm not sure that I could be wrong, but, you know, I don't know if other paints, certainly the one I got from my mum, um, it's got, I could mix colours, I suppose, but I'm not very good at that. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit sort of, hmm. So I would love some more paint so I don't have to use these up, um, which are, you know, just normal colours. Um, so I'll, I've got, I know I have several um, in my wish list, so I will just have to see. Hi, Anne. Hi, Zach. Alright. Um, yeah, you. Yeah, bought some treats earlier on. Good. Do you want the light on or when you're right? No, I'm alright, thank you. So I'll just have to see how this goes. Um, maybe save up some money and get some more paints. So that would be brilliant. Because I am enjoying this. I'm not good as you've seen with the brush. I do go over. I can't help that. I really am trying my best. I'm trying hard not to go over but I always do because I'm not very good in painting. But I'm learning and I'm liking it. So, yeah, I mean this just shows, this will crinkle up probably, um, but this just shows that you can paint in any book regardless of what type of paper there is. So... I'm hoping that this is clear because I really can't see whether it is or not. So let's hope it is. Right, we've got some more green left there, so let's get some more of that green and do these leaves here. We need a great big leaf there as well. Push that down to there. We get in there, so there's a big stalk there I didn't do. That one and we'll do that big leaf as well, I think. So that will cover up there while I went over. 
is a hope here, well. Um, and then I can hopefully go in and make it a bit darker. Maybe put some, I don't know, brown or black or something in it to make it a little bit darker. To do some shading, because I have only got one, one green. So, I'm a bit sort of stuck for shading. I'm not sure what I should do on the shading side. But, but we'll sort that out anyway. green there's a lot of green in this so I will well, I've only got one green so I will do it all you know the same green I'm gonna have to undo that because I can't get there undo that looks different to that that looks more browny don't know why because that's the green I took it from was there oh well Oh well, we'll see. Right, what bit are we on now? Don't know, don't know, don't know. Um, have a big flower, what colour should we do that? Shall we see? My house is doing, doing that colour, shall we? My colour. Um, that one's called Mango. Yeah, we'll try that, I think. Just clean my brush a little bit. And we'll get some Mango. That's got holes in no it hasn't because it would show through wouldn't it? So I'm gonna do it all this colour and then we will go over the top and shade them little bits that look like holes but I don't think they are because they don't show nothing through them. So we'll see. This is pretty good. We've got quite a good range of colours. But we've only got one green. The other one, we have got another sort of green, but it's not green, green as in leaf green. It's more of a jade, turquoisey sort of green, um, which is not really very good for leaves. And I don't think I could shade with that either. So let me keep an eye on the time. Oh, 43. Right, we're going to go now, guys. And I'll come back straight after. And I'll see you on the other side. Thanks, guys. Bye.